Yo, 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 what is up? Paps here back with another video. And today we're coming at you with a tips and tricks style video. Haven't made one of these for a while. And a video specifically like this one have not made for about five years. So I figured it'd be time to update and revisit the subject. I'm going to be going over seven different tips or tricks to get your Rocket League slash gaming experience in general running a bit smoother not all of these tips are specific to rocket league a couple of them are um and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the content or just enjoyed watching and let's get into the video and we'll talk about the rocket league specific tips first so first you're going to go into your gameplay tab and this is going to be internet related um Make sure all of these are set to high, your client send rate, your server send rate, and your bandwidth limit. Um, and your input buffer, this does make a difference in your game choppiness or rubber bandiness. Um, you should test to see if your game runs better on default, STS, or CSTS. It's gonna depend whether you're on Wi-Fi, whether you're using an ethernet cable, that does matter so just you know test on all three see which one works for you that could be one of the reasons your game is not running as smooth as possible for me default works the best and okay once you check that we're going to go over to your video tab and you're going to make sure your resolution is running on your monitor's resolution the one you're gaming on for me it is uh 1440p monitor so that's what we're on and make sure your display mode is on full screen um this is very important windowed or borderless is going to be a not as smooth experience a bit more choppy full screen is going to ensure that your game is the full focus on that monitor and it's not going to be running stuff in the background um so just make sure it's on full screen and turn vsync off usually a good tip if you want your game running smoother go to your basic settings and the aliasing off render quality high and then this is important too make sure your fps is on your maximum gaming monitors fps so for me it's 240 i have a 240 hertz monitor and again just keep it uh level with that you don't want it to be uh uncapped or too high because then your pc might be working hard than it has to and you don't want it to be too low unless you want it to be lower and you don't want to be getting your maximum frames for some reason uh now you're going to go over to your advanced settings and for me you can turn these all the way down to save in some quality and performance for me i like to have them a little bit higher makes the game look a little bit better and that goes for these little boxes as well technically you could have all of them checked off and you'd be fine um, but for me the difference in performance is not worth uh, the game looking a little bit worse so i usually keep high quality shaders and bloom on um, but again test them with them on test it with it off could be a solution for you uh, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the solutions you can do outside of Rocket League. And for me, number one that I always used to do when my game was running slower, I had worse hardware, worse PC, is I went to my task manager and you go to your detail list and you're going to go ahead and look for Rocket League. And it's gonna be right here. It's gonna be Rocket League EXE. And then what you're gonna wanna do is right click it, go to your set priority and switch it to high. And then you're gonna see if that helps how smooth your game is running. Um, for me, this did help a lot when I was running on my gaming laptop or um, on my last PC where my specs were a little bit worse. This definitely helped my game run smoother would recommend if you are having issues uh another thing another really important thing that you should do is if you're still experiencing game lagginess whatever you're going to go to your um software for me 
I'm running Windows 11. So you're gonna go to your Windows update page and you're gonna check for updates and you're gonna make sure that uh, it's completely updated. For me, um, if I have a Windows update waiting to install or if um, I haven't just installed the updates period, then it can make my game run a bit laggier, a bit choppier. There's times where my streams will just like, or it has crashed because my uh, window's not updated or it's waiting to update. So make sure you have that updated. I always try to make sure I'm on top of that. And then depending on your graphics software, I don't know what you have, but for me, I run NVIDIA. So I'm gonna go to my GeForce Experience uh, software page and I'm gonna make sure that my graphics card is updated. This is also very important. Um, AMD probably has a similar counterpart, so make sure you go to that. Um, I always try to stay on top of my Windows updates and my NVIDIA updates. Definitely a good tip for gaming and PC smoothness, uh, smoothness in general. Uh, so after I check that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to talk about clipping software so also i use geforce experience to clip my games when i you know i uh, do clips for shorts when i do clips for tiktok whatever and go to your settings and just make sure you have the settings you want um when it comes to your video capture settings make sure you have the right resolution fps whatever and this goes for metal and gift your game as well um, and honestly it could be your clipping software in general making your game run laggier so definitely test it with and test it without because for me i had to stop using gif your game because it was really messing with the quality of my game so maybe you want to try metal or maybe you want to try a different clipping software in general but make sure that's not your problem because it could be uh it was for me at one point um and now we're going to talk about, okay, yeah, bloated uh, drives slash clear your cache. And for me, we're going to go ahead and go to our storage settings. Could look different for you. Just make sure you go to your storage some way or another. And you're going to make sure that whatever drives you're using are not like close to max, as you can see here. I have a lot of space free on my C drive still. Um, but you know, if you are close to the max or your driver might be max and you're barely uh, having space to do anything, that could be a reason why your PC slash games are not running as smooth as they could be. Um, Windows does have cleanup recommendations. You can clear your recycle bin or just whatever your temporary files, you can clear your cache. Um, I think there is specifically a setting for cache as well. Um, definitely don't just delete things like crazy. Um, check to see, uh, if something is okay to delete, use Google, make sure you're not, uh, deleting important files, but yes, you can defrag as well. Um, which definitely also helps your drivers run as well as they can. Again, make sure you're not deleting anything important. Very, very important to say that. Don't want y'all deleting important files or something. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna talk about your hardware temp settings, and you're gonna make sure that you download uh, this. It's called HW Monitor and once you download it open it up and you're going to check your temperatures for your uh actual hardware in your pc okay and again i'm not a genius when it comes when it comes to exactly what temps your stuff should be running at so definitely do a uh online search depending on your specific hardware look up what it should be running at what's too high what's too low so on and so forth um because obviously it might depend from soft uh, hardware to hardware and just make sure your temps are okay um this gives you all the information you need i uh 
where is oh yeah so you can look at all this for your graphics card your processor everything and if your pc is running too hot what you can do is clean your pc that's usually the solution um or you can kind of turn certain settings down or whatever you know look up oh how do i get the temperature for this running slower because it could be specific to your hardware keep that in mind but usually what you can do is you probably haven't cleaned your pc for a while maybe you gotta dust your fans uh, and just kind of clean the inside of it in general you should be cleaning your pc pretty often and if you don't the, the dust buildup and stuff can get your pc running hotter and genuinely that can be the reason why your pc is lagging your game is lagging whatever um so yeah i know <laughs> i did stumble a little bit of parts i didn't really have a script or anything i just had bullet points i was reading off of um, but hopefully all of these tips helped you um i all these tips have helped me i have tried all these things and i do have my game running um pretty good you know my hardware is a lot better nowadays but these tips have helped me when my uh specs were not as good so yeah don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe Hope you all have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, peace.